<laughs> All right, you just saw our Jill Nicolini. She was playing Howlin' Mad Murdoch during our theme show week, homage to the A team. But today, we have the real Howlin' Mad Murdoch. Well, the character who plays him in the movie live in our studio. Please welcome Charlotte Copley to the show. Welcome. So nice to have you. What'd you think about our little spoof? I know you saw it, but. It was very good. <laughs> it was very good. I watched the whole thing. You, you know, did, yeah. yeah. You were I, impressed, I, I, you know? Awesome. I was. Uh, Especially the, especially your Murdoch, especially Jill hiding behind the. the well, plant. you were saying when you were shooting District Nine, you did a little, uh, you did a little thing as Murdoch. Did, yeah, right? yeah. That's that, as soon as I heard they were interested in me. What I did was I shot a series of scenes in my hotel room that I called things that could happen to Murdoch in a hotel room, that's and funny. I, I basically just improvised off props in the room, and um, edited it together and sent it to the director Joe Conahan, and one of the uh, scenes I did was Murdoch kind of talking to a plant. For instance. Um, and, and, well, he was counseling, you know, he was counseling the plant or whatever, and then they started having a fight, and then by the end, he's like, he's and attacking you, the plant. But did you ever think that it would be you in the A-team, but not as Murdoch? Did that kind of get you angry a little bit? I was, I was, um, I was, I was in an A-team gang. <laughs> yes, you are. You are. When I was 10. I know you are. Yeah. Uh, was it a lot of pressure to do the A-team because you were a fan growing up in South Africa? I mean... I suppose it was, but I felt very comfortable with this Murdoch character, you know. Growing up, the Murdoch and B.A. were my two favorite characters. Uh -huh. And so I just, I just jumped at him, and it must have taken me like an hour, you know, to, sh to shoot that stuff in my room. I knew the character very well. He had a big influence on me growing up. He actually, you know, um, he being Dwight Schultz, Dwight who, Schultz who, who yeah. invented the original Murdoch, actually, as I learned. Should we, should we, take, a, should yeah. we take a look at the uh, little clip? Oh, oh. Why is doctor? Who's the doctor? Who's the doctor this here? is a hospital. <coughs> Everybody's met Mr. Murdoch. Met him? He lit my arm on fire. <laughs> this is a light bulb in mine, man. Look at me, son. I'm told you're a hell of a chopper pilot. The best, sir. I'm not getting on the chopper with this nut job, man. Yeah, that's a good. You know, was he another one of your projects? I'm a real soldier. I'm a ranger, baby. I'm worried. Worried, but you got the roll down. We want to show you a little side by side uh, uh, comparison, and, okay. and and I think it looks really good. I mean, you just really definitely did nail. You look oh, like oh, there a, it is. You look like I'm you trying to do the face. I mean, for amazing. us fans growing up, I mean, I mean that's that's pretty good. It's you got the sharp bad. edges, the good features. Look at that. Look at that nose. Very nice, Rome, ooh, Romanesque, I think. Yeah, nice. I dig it. Was it tough to learn an American accent? No, not really. Yeah, I, did you grow uh, up with I grew up hearing it. Yeah, we 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 got bombarded. No, I'm joking. You did, I'm, of I'm, course. I'm kidding. But 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 um, I grew up listening to you know again like Dwight doing different voices, different yeah. accents. When I was in school, yeah, from about the age of about probably about nine to about eighteen years old, I used to make little sketches with my friends and do accents all the time. So I've I've grown up kind of doing accents and dialects and things like that. But what was it like being on the set? I mean, talk about Hollywood's A-team, Liam Neeson, Bradley Cooper, Jessica Biel. I mean, yes. gee whiz. Yeah. Come on. I mean, like, from District 9, which we'll get to, to this. What yeah. was it like being it on was, the set? It was, uh, for me, it was very relaxing. You know, it was, it was a fun character. Um, I worked, of the four characters, I had, uh, my role is the smallest. My guy's, you know, air support and he's, and he's in the air a lot while the other guys are having to work on the ground. So uh -huh. I spent a lot of time in my trailer. I turned my trailer into a petting zoo <laughs> one day. I had a little lima in my, <laughs> this is what you do. These are the things you do on like a big budget. You, did you have a lot of like chia pets or something Hollywood like that? Folk. It, was, it was a lima and, and, and you could come, you feed him. You come, everybody came to my trailer and he was like crawling over I me. can't let you leave without talking World Cup. Are you ready okay. for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. A huge fan? I'm ready. I just hope our, our the soccer rest, team, the South African team is ready. But it, I think we're going to win this opening game against Mexico. I, I hope so. I hope so. I think so. we may. You are, Charlton, I could talk to you forever. We didn't even get to talk about District 9. Uh, thanks for coming in and joining us. Thank uh, you so much. Uh, the A-Team hits theaters tomorrow. And for more information, just go to our website, WPIX.com, and look at his little character. You get to play with him, too. He's got a little figurine out. We'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh.